have uh, great difficulty in feeling what it is to be functional in life. And at the same time, I don't decide anything. Actually, you always function. Because there's nothing in your life which relies on, on decision. Whatever you do, you don't do. This done through you. So, when you, when you talk about being functional, it's a, a romantic way of seeing that either you abide to the fact, or either you think the fact is aggressive or is inappropriate. But even so, it is functional. So you digest, your heart is beating, blood is circulating. When you come to your home, you open the door. After you close the door, you are very functional. Sometimes you take a shower, you talk to your wife, you talk to the neighbor, you maybe even work. When you tie your sleep, when you feel like eating, you eat. When you and so on. Being functional is only abiding to the very fact. There is no, it is not exceptional. Exceptionality, it is the ego who looks exceptional. It is the ego who wants to be free, who wants to be uh, one of the, the meat. You cannot be functional. You are functional, totally, 100%. But see that you you have the fantasy that you think could be different. No, they can't. Otherwise, they will be different. But what is true now is finished, it's gone already. It's a new day every second. So you're not bound by your limitations because they're dead the moment you realize them. So life is always new in the moment. Seeing that is being functional. You have no space to change. You have no space to become functional. To become is a is a way of speaking. It's like saying it is snowing. Who's snowing? It's a way of speaking. Nobody is snowing. Nobody is becoming anything. See that when you want somebody, that when you want something, you you seem to become dysfunctional. When you see on to the fact, life is, is easier. But when even life, when life is not easy, it is not because you're not functional. It is become like that. Sometimes there's a tempest and the, the car crash into your house. It's not because your house is functional. Things happen. The idea of changing or doing it is it, it, a fantasy. Seeing is the only change possible. And it's the only thing you cannot do because there is no seer. Seeing doesn't need any agent because it is what you are. That's why you register seeing. So you will notice you become more and more functional because there will be no more daydreaming, no more expectation, no more wanting to love, wanting to be loved. No one wanted to be accepted, no one wanted to be understood, no one wanted to be respected. No one wanted to achieve that, to, to, to come to that point. To, and so on, all, all the fantasy, the baby is fantasy. <coughs> How will you want anything else than what comes to you at the moment? 
Yeah, in any case, that's what it is. So you abide in the fact. Abiding is the ultimate functionality. And when you don't, you abide in the fact that you don't. To abide is the ultimate functionality. To abide in the fact that you don't abide, or to abide in the fact of abiding, it is the same thing. Clarity is always in back of you. Whatever obscurity, whatever complexity is in you, it is lighted by clarity. That's why you don't need to become light or unlighted. What is the light who sees unclarity? But you accept the unclarity. Take a moment, you accept the light. You accept the, you accept the seeing and not what is seen. There's only difference. Accenting the seeing is functionality. Accenting what is seen, seen and functional. But it is the same thing, which is seen. You don't have to perfect anything. Perfection is there. The sea of perfect is life. You are born the right moment, you die the right moment. It is a perfection.